In water and wastewater systems, pumps are used to lift water to achieve certain heads or to boost pressures. The design details of pumps play an important role when designing pipe systems or pumping stations. Centrifugal pumps are the most common pumps used because of their simple design, high efficiency, ability to operate against variable head, and continuous discharge. Centrifugal pumps use impellers, which are driven by motors that are surrounded by a stationary casing. The casing also diffuses and increases the flow area. In large pumps, special guide vanes may be installed to help improve the efficiency of the diffusion process. Pumps also follow a set of three rules known as the affinity laws. Assuming the size of the impeller is kept constant, then the following statements are true. Flow is directly proportional to the speed. Head is proportional to the square of the speed. And power is proportional to the cube of the speed. In this experiment, we will determine the operational characteristics of centrifugal pumps when configured as a single pump, two pumps in series, and two pumps in parallel. We start the experiment with only one pump in line. Configure the bench for the single pump test. For this purpose, you can follow the procedure demonstrated in this video or consult with the lab manual. Ensure the bench outlet valve is fully closed. Turn on the power for pump 1 and set the speed to 60 revolutions per second. Measure the inlet pressure and outlet pressure by the gauges installed before and after the pump. Record the pump inlet power shown by the watt meter. Open the valve to 25%. This valve makes four complete turns to completely open. Thus, one complete turn will open the valve to position needed. Measure the flow rate using the volumetric tank. Repeat the experiment by setting the bench regulating valves to 50, 75, and 100% open. Complete the required readings for each valve opening, ensuring that the pump speed is maintained as the flow is adjusted. Complete the above steps for pump speed 60 revolutions per second, 70 revolutions per second, and 80 revolutions per second. Configure the bench for the pumps in series by following this video or using the diagram given in your lab manual. This configuration allows water to first enter the pump number 1, then to pump number 2, and from there to the bench outlet pipe. Turn the bench regulating valve to the fully closed position. Start pumps 1 and 2 and increase the speed until both pumps are operating at 60 revolutions per second. Repeat the previous step by regulating bench outlet valves set to 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% open. Measure the inlet pressure and outlet pressure by the gauges installed before and after the pump. Record the pump inlet pressure shown by the watt meter. Measure the flow rate using the volumetric tank. Complete the above steps for pump speeds of 60, 70, and 80 revolutions per second. In the final part of this experiment, we will put the two pumps in parallel. Watch this video or consult with your lab manual for this purpose. When pumps are in parallel, water is drawn from the tank by both pumps and will enter the outlet pipe through two separate paths. Complete the steps outlined in the two pumps in series and measure and record required information. Be sure to clean up your station and any water that may have spilled. Following the lab manual, complete the results table and put together your lab report. If you have any questions, consult your teaching assistant or professor.